going on guys, Sinister Skater here, bringing you another Black Ops 2 Uprising DLC video. This time we are playing on the map Encore, and this is not a live commentary, thank God, because that means that the gameplay is going to be a far, far a lot better than what a live commentary is. And it definitely is, this is a like 42 and 6 overall gameplay. This I got two swarms in this gameplay, one in the first half of Domination and one in the second half. So that is what you're seeing, the first swarm and the second swarm in this gameplay. And went on like a 29 or something like that kill streak in the second half. So it's pretty good gameplay. Using the Peacekeeper with extended mags and quick draw, as well as the diamond camo. And I actually wouldn't have gotten this gameplay because I got a gameplay with on um what was on the what's the other map? On Vertigo, using the MP7 with the bacon camo and I caved. I didn't have the bacon camo before, but all of a sudden I just I, I felt the need to get it. So I just got it and I got a gameplay with that. So I'm like, you know what, alright, I'm I'm gonna upload this. It was like a three minute gameplay with the swarms so i'm like all right you know i'll just do this but i decided to play again and i got this good gameplay so i'm glad i did that and um yeah so this is encore the new dlc map um if you guys didn't know i also did do two other maps so far uh, magma and yeah, i keep forgetting to name something because there's no magma and studio i still have vertigo to do which will probably be in the first try fridays unless i decide to upload this uh bacon camo mp7 swarm gameplay over tonight or maybe tomorrow i don't know probably not gonna do it probably just save it for later but who knows so yeah this is encore this is um like they said in the trailer this is based on an outdoor amphitheater in i want to say london i believe i'm not 100 percent sure but i want to say london and you know it's a it's a pretty cool map you know it has it's definitely like i like i said a lot of these maps are really really colorful this is definitely the most colorful of the maps it has a lot of purple this is like what i said like it looked like in the trailer it had a lot of purple in it which is a first for call of duty because usually there's not that much like uh purple in a lot of maps you know they're bringing actually a lot of purple in with the uh, next uh, with this new uprising DLC pack. But like I said, it's in the uh, outdoor amphitheater, which has like a giant stage in the center, which you see right out here, which is a good power position for many um, many game types. You know, it has the whole like stage setting and all this other stuff around the map, and it's a pretty cool map. Very circular, keeps uh, keeps the game pace moving. Our game game pace. I don't know if I said pace or place, but it keeps the game pace moving fast and. You know, at first, I think this was the first map I played, or, no, the first map I played was Vertigo, and that was, like, a two-minute game, because I joined the game late. And, uh, right there, that little screen transition, that was a host migration. Forgot to put that in the, uh, video, so I'm just gonna say it right now, but, um, I think, yeah, this was my second game, my second, like, first full game, really, of Uprising, and I didn't really like it at first, probably because I was playing Team Deathmatch, and people were just camping a lot, and just, like, not really moving, and everything but then once you started playing more like uh i played a little mosh pit on this i played definitely this domination game when you get objectives in there it's definitely a nice map to play on but you know that isn't my final my my final review my final review will kind of be on um on uh first try fridays when i do play a little more get like because a day's worth of gameplay like i said is not that much uh it's not enough for to do a review i don't know how people really do like reviews on the first day of a map pack when it comes out unless you like play it all day but even when you play it all day you know you, it's like maybe you're doing good that day and then maybe you're doing bad that day and you give a bad review you gotta like give it some more time just to give a total review and i i definitely need to play some more mob of the dead and all that new zombie stuff before i just start or before i start doing the gameplay but you know that's about it for this map it's pretty cool it has a lot of colors and um yeah you know actually what i was thinking of is what they should have done which they haven't really done in a whole i don't know well, this is really off topic but you know they really haven't had like a changing sun like a changing daylight kind of thing in a black ops 2 map which now that i said that they'll probably do it soon so you first heard it here but you know have like have the day shift kind of like in minecraft from like light to dark and like just change daylight settings i think that'd kind of be cool for this map because you can have like the daylight kind of like how it is right now kind of like the sun setting kind of on the side of the map right there and then like it gets dark and then you know you have like all these lights flashing all over the place and like you know what i'm saying like have the stage you know have like a bunch of crazy like lights flashing like how they do in concerts and all that stuff and that'd be pretty cool you know even if they did that um like uh what's that map called like plaza in this, it kind of looked more like plaza, but that'd be kind of cool. Maybe if they made it a little darker, maybe a little, like, maybe put the sun down a little bit more and put a little lights, you know, that could have been pretty cool. I just thought about that. No, I think about it more. That actually would be pretty cool, but I don't know how much that would, like, take up code or whatever, because I don't know really that much about games. But, um, yeah, that's about it's for the whole map pack, ta or map talking about this. We've got about another minute or two of gameplay, so I wanted to talk about... 
it's kind of like, like I said, I'm not making a review, but I kind of wanted to compare this DLC so far, if you guys have had it, with the past Black Ops, or past Call of Duty DLC. You know, you had first your Call of Duty Modern Warfare um, 1, COD 4 DLC, you had your World at War, which I've never played World at War. I played every COD, or not every COD, I played, or I have and have played uh, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. You know, I just wanted, like... I personally think that the Black Ops DLC, or this Black Ops 2 DLC, I have, you know, they've only released like one and basically like one and a half right now because I really haven't played this as much. But, you know, this DLC definitely seems like it's doing a lot better than the other ones. Modern Warfare 3 DLC was completely crap except for the last map pack. That was pretty okay. But that DLC, just the maps were not good at all. I really didn't want to play them. I didn't want to go in like a mosh pit uprising dlc playlist like i did in black ops 1 to play like drive in and all the new maps or especially like in this game to play these maps modern warfare 3 i just really didn't care for those maps you know the spec ops missions weren't cool at all black ops 1 had some pretty cool maps like drive in and like i said definitely wanted to play them um as soon as they came out you know they had the zombies dlc the D that dlc was really nice and that's what I'm, I'm thinking this dlc for black ops 2 i can't wait to see what they do next because they're just adding more interactive stuff and everything. And wow, that gameplay just wrapped up really fast in my timeline. So yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay, Double Swarm. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm Sinister Skater, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.